Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Selectionary. Today for Wednesday, let's take a look at the lesson that's assigned uh, from the book Exodus, um, and we're in chapter 18, beginning at verse 13. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses from the morning until the evening. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why sittest thou thyself, and all the people stand by thee from morning until evening? And Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of God. When they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another, and I do make them know the statutes of God and his laws. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely wear away, both thou and this people that is with thee, for this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken now unto my voice, and I will give thee counsel, and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to Godward, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God, and thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk, and the work that they must do. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds and rulers of fifties and rulers of ten. And let them judge the people in all seasons. And it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge. So shall it be easier for thyself, and they shall bear the burden with thee. If thou shalt do this thing, and God command thee so, then thou shalt be able to endure. And all this people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moses hearkened unto the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. And Moses chose able men out of all Israel, and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And they judged the people at all seasons, the hard causes they brought unto Moses, but every small matter they judged themselves. And Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went his way into his own land. Okay, so we begin to see uh, the administration of a governing system. Uh, until this point, Moses was the only one who was given the authority to speak in the name of God and to judge uh, matters between men. And, so, and you know, Moses would, first of all, he'd spend all day uh, having to deal with all of these things, everything from they've moved my landmark to the, that's my cow and not his, uh, to probably issues of divorce and remarriage. Uh, all of these things, all of them came to Moses, which meant, one, that it wore him out for the time that it was spent, he was trying to spend uh, doing all of these things. And some of them, I think, were the probably petty things as well as the big things. Uh, uh, but uh, also it meant that it justice itself was not being uh, judiciously done, quickly done, uh, because it would take all day for people to get to Moses to hear that case. And so Jethro, his father-in-law, has this great idea. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and divvy up the work, right? Let's share the responsibilities. The little things, the everyday things, this, I, I imagine that the, that's my cow, no, it's your cow. That kind of stuff can be done on a much more local basis. Uh, but the important things, the big things, uh, the things where it's going to be a large decision that has to be made, um, that can be brought to Moses to judge himself. Uh, and so Moses takes this advice of his father-in-law and begins to share the authority. Uh, by God's blessing, of course, he wouldn't have done this had God not approved of such a system. Uh, and this, in fact, will end up being the system of administration for the government, uh, for the governing of the people of the Jews throughout all of the time in the Exodus uh, and into uh, the time of his, of Moses' successor. Um, eventually, of course, uh, we will go from Joshua into the book of Judges, uh, because uh, the judges themselves will rule. And after the book of Judges, then we start to get to the period of the kings. Um, so anyway, it kind of gives us a little bit of Old Testament background that we're looking at. Um, so today is Wednesday. We don't have Holy Communion today, uh, it, because, uh, again, I'm going to be away for the day. Uh, but uh, please be sure to say your prayers. I will pray for you. And please pray for me and for this parish. And may you have a wonderful Wednesday full of blessings.